Hi there, my name is Steve Carr and I work at Johansford in Mayfair. Today I'm going to recreate Big Ponytail as seen on Victoria Beckham and Duffy most recently at the closing ceremony of the London Olympics 2012. So first of all, I blow dry Taylor's hair with a serum to help tame her wild and frizzy locks. So now we've got some nice straight smooth hair. So I've taken a two inch parting from the front hairline and I'm going to take my sections from the back of that parting down to the ear on both sides. And I'm just going to isolate that hair with a section clip until later. Now to create this look we need to put a lot of backcombing into the root of the hair to create lots of volume. To achieve this I'm going to work in a brickwork pattern, so starting at the centre with a two inch section. To encourage the backcombing to stay on freshly blow-dried hair, spray a little firm hairspray onto the roots of the section. Allow it to dry for a few seconds and then backcomb. These first few sections are the sections that will be visible on the top of the ponytail, so we don't want to backcomb it too vigorously. So those are our first three sections, one, two, and three. Now we're going to offset the next sections so the partings aren't in a row. So when we bring the back combing back, it should create one smooth mound of hair as opposed to splitting. Now we're working behind the front section of hair. We're going to back comb hair a little more vigorously, making sure we get a firm back home base at the root. The hair should almost stand up by itself. So in that section, I did four sections, one, two, three, and four. So again, I'm gonna offset it this time, so taking the next section directly in between the previous two sections. So it looks like bricks. Now for the next step, I'm going to switch from a comb to a Mason and Pearson brush, which will help to give smoothness and a little bit of shine to the look. But we need to be delicate, we don't want to brush all of this back combing out. So we just gently, gently brush it back into the hand at the back of the neck and start to form our shape. Now, how much volume you have in your ponytail is purely up to you. I'm just going to take a regular hairband now and fasten it off. And then in the mirror, you just have a look at what you've created and adjust as necessary. Originally, Victoria Beckham was wearing this very clean but more recently she'd been wearing it a little bit more distressed and a little bit less tidy. So I'm going to take a couple of small bobby pins and just pushing the base of the ponytail back up to the head, just securing underneath the ponytail to give this nice elevated shape that we're trying to achieve. Make sure you cross the pins over. You can see the two pins there just holding it up in place. Then moving on to the side sections, I'm going to very lightly tease the sections on each side and give them a light mist of hairspray, but very delicately. We don't want the back coming to be visible. It's just to stop the hair from separating too much. Take the side section down, brushing it over the top of the ear and wrapping the hair around the base of the ponytail, securing in position with another bobby pin. 
and then do exactly the same on the other side. By wrapping the hair around the base of the ponytail, you're hiding the hair band you used earlier on and just give it a nice clean finish. So, this is the clean version of the ponytail we've been doing today. But more recently, you'll have seen Victoria's start to distress it a little bit by pulling pieces out around the front of the face and making it less tidy. And you can just do this at home to whatever desired level you want. You can use the top of your, use your brush or your comb to back comb the top slightly and make it less tidy. You can use your fingers to dishevel it as necessary. But I'm gonna leave it again, back tidy again. There we go guys, that's my look finished for today. Thank you very much. Thank you.